welcome back to Main Street Living, ladies. Uh, it is the week of Valentine's, and uh, with virtual school and work, I, I have to admit, I've forgotten about my own self-care. <laughs> Oh, no, Quincy. Yes. Well, Valentine's Day, there's a lot of love in the air usually, right? And this year, it's especially important to give back to ourselves, too, to your point. So here with some insight is Rebecca Scritchfield, a well-being coach, registered dietitian, nutritionist, certified exercise physiologist, and author of the book, Body Kindness. Certainly a resume there. Welcome to Main Street Living. Thank you for having me. So the title of your book is Body Kindness, Transform Your Health from the Inside Out and Never Say Diet Again. A lot of people like the sound of that. And <laughs> you say that for better health, people don't need diet plans. They need body kindness. So what mm -hmm. exactly does that mean? Um, yeah, you know, right now, if you think about when we, when we decide to get healthier, the very first thing we look for is what's the perfect diet plan that's going to help me lose weight because then I'm obviously going to get healthier. And that's actually not true. Um, you might lose weight for a short term, but then you usually regain weight. And in the process of trying to lose weight, you're your food becomes less fun, your exercise becomes punishing, and it really is very joyless. So body kindness is about starting by being good to yourself to say, you know what, I might want to make some changes in my life and in my habits, but I am good and worthy as I am. And I want to take a much more positive and compassionate approach to think of health as well being. So a mind body happiness, not just appearance. So Absolutely. important. <laughs> yes. Um, so, I mean, tell us more about like, how does body kindness help improve like just our day to day habits and our and our mental health as an overall? Sure. So you want to think of it like if you were to give the um, the care to yourself that you would recommend your best friend do. So it's really there's a lot of intuitive sense to it. It's almost like you want to say. I want to be here for you through the highs and lows and the good and the bad. What sounds like something that you need right now? And so it really is a responsive way to be gentle and compassionate, non-judgmental, which is really helpful because um, you can feel that voice of your inner critic almost like marking you off for all the bad things you did. And it puts you in this downward spiral feeling. And so in body kindness, I talk about spiraling up, which is the the reverse where you're kind, compassion, flexible thinking that says, yeah, this doesn't feel so good, but what would you like next that might feel a little bit better? And that, there's all types of things, whether it's around your sleep, your food, your movement, and even in your relationships that can make a big difference. I'm wow. so glad that you brought that up because a lot of the times I find myself being the biggest cheerleader for my family and friends, but then when it comes to myself, Cheers. yeah, I'm not a cheerleader for myself. And I think yeah. we all should be, and that's what you're here advocating today. So talk about why the most important relationship we have should be, you know, with ourselves and our own bodies and why this is especially important for Valentine's day. Sure. Well, you know, I think that, um, in any relationship, there's some type of caregiving that we're pushing outward. Um, and when we put all our efforts outward, there's like nothing left to go inward. And, you know, your relationship with yourself is the most important because you're going to be your, your best um, emotionally well, your most positive and optimistic, and you're going to put your best energy out there for others. And so mm -hmm. it's 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 kind of a give and take. Um, when you are kind and compassionate toward yourself, you feel better, your mood and energy spiral up. I mentioned that a little bit earlier. And you're much more likely to want to connect and engage with others and have more positive emotions. That alone has been shown in research to be like a little antidote or medicine against anxiety, depression, insomnia. Um, so all things that we're really trying to fight these days. And then of course, around Valentine's Day, I mean, most literal, it'd be great to have some chocolate and not feel guilty about it. <laughs> but also yeah. it's like, be your own Valentine. You don't have to be oh, in yeah. a romantic relationship to deserve good love. There's lots of ways to give and receive love. And it does start with yourself. Aww. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm, and I'm a big fan of Galentine's Day. And I love what you mentioned about, <laughs> about starting with yourself, because my mom always says, like, you can't pour from an empty cup, right? So what's one tip anyone can do to get started with body kindness right now? 
Oh, right now, anything you can do is just take one big deep breath. When you exhale, I want you to think of that thing that's nagging you and just let it go. Like blow it out, blow it away from you and just take a deep breath in and let one good positive thing. It could be your favorite song lyric, your favorite affirmation, somebody who matters to you, but move the energy. We all have to breathe. And if you're breathing, you're able to relax, regulate your emotions, and just think a little bit more optimistic. And believe it or not, those feelings lead to a slew of positive self-care choices. The things you know and you hear are good for you, but it's not a lecture. It's, it's, it's a wanted energy that you bring to yourself because you feel ready. And before we go, how do people find time? You know, how do you set aside time for yourself? Because I'm such a planner and I don't plan in. She's a Capricorn. I don't. <laughs> you know, it's it's. We think that that two things, rest and fun, are frivolous, and there's no point. But it's it's actually one of these things. If you think about what is something that I know that I would enjoy. And that if I don't have to see an immediate benefit that I know, it's kind of like taking a daily vitamin. In the long term, I know it helps me have strong hair and, you know, nice, healthy skin, but I don't see the instant I take it. I want you to think about basic things like rest and mm. having fun. And it could be a minute. What's your favorite song you remember from high school or college? Play it and go nuts in your living room. Even if you're by yourself, doesn't matter yes. what you're wearing. But you, you say you deserve that. I deserve this moment of pure joy and happiness or silliness. And good things follow. It's it's that immediate expectation that we think all right. life's problems are going to be solved. Not everything, yeah. but that spark of joy will come and you'll see life feels better when you could bring joy into your life. Oh, you're so positive. And where can people <laughs> get more information about your book? Sure. Uh, bodykindnessbook.com. All right. Simple. Keep it simple. Yes. We love it. Thank, Thank you so, so much for joining much. us. And thanks for having me. All right. Stick with us. Whether you're playing the short game or the long game, we got tips for your game. So don't go anywhere.